So I've just imported a fresh project from the marketplace. Right now we're going to try and integrate LS to Magnum Combat together. And we start from not this guy, but the parent, because this guy doesn't have movement input and the parent does. And the parent, even in the parent, the movement input is not in the event graph. It's right here. Player input graph on a separate graph, apparently. So when you see movement input, remember to match the movement input with the one on Magnum Combat. So we go here, the main character, and see, it's marked movement input, and this is the movement input of ALS. You may also have custom movement input like ALS does. It's different than add movement input, the simple one. So what we're going to do is just we're going to copy this whole thing right beside the movement input. And before we connect the nodes and modify stuff, we're going to add AC Magnum Combat. And it's added. Do not press compile yet. We need uh, other things like uh, direction arrow. Arrow. So add arrow direction arrow. We might also need uh, the AC Simple Shop component. And I know it's not finished right now, but let's just add AC Simple Shop component. And compile. When you see errors like this, do not worry. It's just telling you what's not connecting and what's up. And we basically need to find out how we can address that. So what's happening here is because input action jump is non-existent because input action is has been deprecated in UE5. We can use something else like middle mouse button for now or you can use enhanced input and go from there. But right now we're just going to use the simple keyboard button keyboard events and demonstrate how it's done quickly. All right, so left mouse button, right mouse button to counter dodge with middle mouse button. I don't know, maybe some games have middle mouse button. And the compile is successful. Now we're going to see how the movement input works because it's definitely different than the normal movement input. ALS is, well, it's advanced. So, Movement in combat and add movement input. This is the original add movement input. Even ALS has this add movement input. And we're not going to tamper with that. We're just going to copy the macro movement in combat, copy it and paste the macro with control V. All right. Now we're going to delete this because we will no longer be needing it. And we're even going to delete this. But now what do we do? Now we're copying this into the movement in combat. Because ALS uses this. And we need the boolean here. So we add this. And we match it with this. Is forward axis? Then yeah, it's true. It's forward axis. And duplicate with Control D on UE5, Control W on UE4, and uncheck the forward axis. Make sure it's unchecked. It's important because yeah. And the axis value for forward and backwards is forward. All right. So right here. And right and left it's right here we connect the exact lines like this now that it's done we can see that uh, there's something going on here when we compile it so rotate arrow uh, when this happens we just need to refresh the note and compile it again and save so no worries 
we should not break the game. Yep, everything's fine. We can still sprint. We can do ALS stuff. Yeah. Alright. Nothing's broken. So, it's great. Uh, right now, the integration process for the main character is basically finished. You can now attack and and do stuff that Magnum Combat system uh, allows you to. Although there's one thing that we need to pay attention to is the mesh is using its own animation blueprint and we're not going to uh, use Magnum Combat's animation blueprint. It does exist. I mean, Magnum Combat has its own Magnum Combat animation blueprint, but we're not going to use that because uh, we don't need it. Although we need the existing animation blueprint like yours, like ALS, to play montages. And montages can only be played when we have slot default slot on our animation blueprint before the output post. And when we compile and save, everything should be working. Now, even with different skeletons, if you're on UE5, uh, UE5 does a great job at recognizing different skeletons, but they're like practically the same. So everything works. You can punch, counter. Yeah. Now we're going to integrate the enemy with the Magnum Pawn. Hmm. Now ALS has the same blueprint as the main characters, which is not something that we want because look, take a look. Uh, boom, it has Magnum Combat. And we cannot have like the two combats, uh, like the two components conflicting with each other. So we're going to delete all of these guys. For now. And we're going to duplicate and call it ALS enemy. And we're going to duplicate this also. So, and call it uh, ALS mag pawn. Yeah. Right? So, in ALS enemy, the parent, we're going to delete Magnum Combat. We're going to delete Direction Arrow and we're going to delete all Magnum's, Magnum Combat's code because we do not need it. This is this code is for the player. Even this, we do not need input buttons because this is for the AI. The enemy does not need input buttons. All right, now that we've done that, we can see the mesh and we can see that uh, we can use Magnum Enemies animation blueprint. And for this, that for this one that we've just duplicated from the main character, we are going to reparent. See, the parent class is right now ALS base character, which causes this uh, instance, I mean, this blueprint to inherit Magnum Combat, which is not something that we want. We want to inherit from the enemy. So, ALS enemy is what we need. Reparent. Compile and save. And now we should have, we should add AC Magnum Pawn. Save. And basically, we're done. We're basically done. We're basically done here. Now we can hit this guy. Like, without the Magnum Combat component, we would not be able to hit the guy. I mean, Magnum Pawn component, we won't be able to hit the guy. Let's see if this is taken away. Compile. See? Nothing. Alright. That's why we needed the component. and save. Now with the mesh, 
we're going to use Magnum Enemy. We're on the controller, AI. It's not on the mesh, it's right here. AI controller class, we are going to change it into Magnum Enemy. And if you want to keep the behavior of ALS's AI, we can see that it has its own system. Now, since ALS is less complex than Magnum Combat, I mean, in the uh, AI sense, we're just going to copy what ALS has into our own behavior tree and put it at lower, lower priority, ALS. and put it here. Cool. And you're basically done. You have your own AI integrated with a ALSS AI. And you're ready. Now the enemy is completely stunned, which is the feature of Magnum Combat. And now let's add some res into our project. So in Magnum Combat, we have something called time gate. It's right here. So time gate is basically the blueprint that allows slow motion, but it does so like a in a very controlled manner. So it, the, the command, the exact line for slow motions does not overlap with each other. And we also have dynamic music. It's right here, dynamic music. We just need to put it in our level. Let's put this guy where the nav mesh belongs. And let's make that our combat arena. like so so when we enter the arena the music changes and intensifies and we also have instant action camera and we're going to put the instant action camera into the level and into our character so where is our character there you go that's our character we're going to put SC action camera. Let's make sure this is not attached into anything else but the capsule. Uh, also CC cameraman. Let's make sure they're not attached together. And the cameraman, let's put it like way behind near the position of the ALS's camera. So it's right here. Compile and save. Now we have action camera, we have music, dynamic music, and we have the slow motion from instant directional attacks. Uh, right now we are going to uh, make sure that nothing's that nothing is wrong. And to do that, we are going to use the debug system in Magnum Combat and set this to on. Because right now, I cannot do beatdowns, and it's fine. We're just going to find out what's up. So, let's up this. Oh, yeah. So, collision is detected. We're just going to go to edit and see where the collision's at. We find a reference by name. So, while we're tracing, there is... Another check, which is the collision check, it's right here. And in the collision check, we just have to see what's up. So what is up is basically uh, this. When collision is detected, we should recheck if the collision has Magnum Pawn. And if it does have Magnum Pawn, then it is the target, instead of nullifying it when there's a collision. Okay, we compile and save. Everything should work.
as always, thanks for watching and good luck with your own project.